Blues, I, I feel, is the best way for me to uh, to uh, express myself through my saxophone and my and my voice, and uh, uh, I just sort of come by it naturally. I started playing uh, blues really when I moved to Calgary at the King Eddie Hotel, and uh, the first time I was ever in the King Eddie, I got to jam with Matt Guitar Murphy, and uh, I was hooked after that. <laughs> wow, that would hook you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the kind of singer that I can't help it but let everything in my soul come out in the music and blues allows that to happen. You know, there are no restrictions. You know, I'm a, I'm a belter, All right. you know, so I don't have to hold back and I love the music. And I, f I found uh, John Mayles' Blues Breakers record with, with Eric Clapton and the stuff that was going on in that album made me realize that I can, uh, you know, I can express myself in, in, in this way and uh, it opened up so many doors and the blues guitar just offers me as a person so many ways to express myself in a fundamental way and, um, you know, and now at this point in my career it's, uh, it's about mapping that onto to good songs. Honestly, I think the blues has been chasing after me all my life. It kept cropping back up in my life, in my, you know, little, when I was a little kid, in my teens, in my 20s, in my 30s, and then at 40, I started my own blues band, okay. and I felt at home, mm -hmm. and I realized that I'd been on this journey all along, and I found my place. I just didn't know it until I got there. Mm -hmm. 